what's up guys welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday um, today I'm going to be doing the dollar makeup challenge so I went to my local dollar store and picked up some stuff um, I didn't get a lot of stuff I got blush and it's all LA colors I hope this is, yeah there we go. blush and I got a palette of course because I'm gonna need to try some eye colors and um, the only thing that's not LA colors is this Milani lip gloss here if I can get the color right there we go it's in like a purple what is it it's actually called violet addict so it's their number four so this is like the only name brand thing that I got other than that I just got my powder and my foundation and concealer are already done so I can show you guys this stuff. Let's get to opening. Oh, opening packages. My least favorite part. Oops. And of course dropping the makeup. I'm not going to use, is there tape on this? I'm not going to use the applicator that comes in these little things. Um, I'm just not a fan of, oh my gosh, of these little spongy tip things. They just don't do anything for me. But Here's the palette open. So we've got some greens, um, blue, purple, orange. It's a nice little mix of colors, especially for the season. So this is actually good. Hopefully it's good quality. Sorry about the noise. There's like a bus or garbage truck going past. Sorry about that. I'm going to open the blush. Really? Okay, good. I guess I'm not going to open the blush because it's like impossible. <laughs> oh, I should have done this off camera. There we go. And then I got the... Don't close. Oh my goodness. Open. There we go. Little pink blush really pretty I don't have a pink blush I have like um those peachy tones but I don't really show up on my skin that well or at least that's what I'm told so and then for the blush um I guess I'll use the applicator that comes with the blush it's like this little tiny blush brush I'll use that applicator it's not as annoying as the little sponge ones so before I start doing the eyeshadow I'm gonna prime my lids with this concealer palette that I got which you can see I've obviously been using concealer palette that I got from the cute app that was on my phone it's an uh, app made by wish or if you don't know who wish.com is you guys should check it out because they have really awesome beauty stuff and all of that and it's not expensive at all that palette I think I got some in my eye. Oh my goodness. That palette was like two bucks. And it's pretty good. Like the concealers definitely work. It's like cream concealer. Um, so yeah. And my, some of my other like brushes and stuff I got from there. Got a 16 piece brush set for like eight bucks. Okay, so my eyelids are all primed and we're going to see what this eyeshadow is all about. So I'm going to go in with this purple right here. Can you guys see that? Let's see. This, I really wish my light was better. I'm so sorry. I need to buy a new light. This purple right here. That's going to be my all over lid color and because my mirror is like further back because of the way I have my desk set up I'm going to use my palette my powder mirror so here let me zoom and let's see if I can zoom in for you guys make it a little easier there we go uh oh uh oh guys I'm not having much faith in this eyeshadow right now 
Oh, I'm getting a lot of fallout. That's okay. It's dollar store eyeshadow, so couldn't expect too much. Here, yeah, let's lean a little bit more in the light. It's okay. It's a nice color. You just kind of have to pack it on. That's the only thing. It's not like super pigmented. You have to layer it. But I guess that's not such a big deal. So, since I'm doing this, I don't want to just sit in silence. Um, do you guys watch Empire on Wednesday? Don't give me any spoilers because I missed it. So, uh, but I heard the music is going to be dope this season and they have so many celebrity cast members. Oh my god, I can't wait to catch up on the very first episode. I can't believe I missed it. Um, okay, uh, it's a little purple. I put layers, I put like three layers on both eyes. It's a little, it's more like of a deep purple. I thought it was going to be a little brighter. I don't like the pattern, sorry. Um, for my blending color, I don't know. I didn't have this planned ahead of time, guys. Sorry. I'm going to use the one next to it. So this one here. This nice, like, bluish kind of purple. I'm going to use that next. And put that all in my crease using my Luxie blending brush. Because, like I said, I don't like those little applicators. I think they're super annoying. And I'm just going to go in circles, starting from the outer V. All the way into my crease. I'm just going back and forth lightly. Circuit the motions to kind of blend it all this together. We don't want to look crazy. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. See? I might I might keep this palette after all. It might have been a good dollar investment. Sorry about that, you guys. The freaking garbage man. Like, I don't know why he keeps coming down the street and just, like, going back. It's like, pick up all the garbage. Okay, you've been here, like, five times already. Just going back and forth. Actually, now that I'm kind of looking at it, they're kind of almost both the same color. Which is a little concerning because on the palette, the first one I use is considerably lighter. So, for them to look the same, I guess... Uh, I guess it's fine, but that is where we're at so far, and for my highlighter, I actually just kind of use my pointer finger for my highlight under my brow because it's kind of, I don't know, it's annoying to have to get a brush for that. I can just use my finger, and I don't use that much highlight under my brow in the first place because it, sometimes it can get a little too dramatic. Don't want to look crazy. All right, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna call this done with this dollar eyeshadow. It's okay. We'll see how my face looks later today. Um, the other thing that I got was the blush, if you remember. So I'm gonna take the little I shouldn't have closed the mirror. Take the little applicator and like go back and forth and pick up some blush color here. And did I? Let's see. What's the color? This is just, oh, it's just pink blush. It doesn't have like a name or anything special. Mm. Huh, I don't really know. Like, that's not really showing up on my face. Like, I don't know. It doesn't look pink to me. Okay, I don't know. I've done it twice, so. <sighs> mm -mm. No, this is not successful blush. And really all this brush is doing 
it was like pushing my foundation around so yeah the bl <laughs> that blush is like no but this milani lip what is this lip liquid color intense liquid color this i'm very hopeful for but that's because it's a milani brand and it's not la colors only thing i don't like about this is the applicator here let's see if you guys can see the applicator on this is completely cylinder it's not like a doe foot applicator so there's not a part to like comfortably set against my lips you know the way the doe applicator is shaped it doesn't have that it's completely cylinder which makes it a little awkward to apply but we'll see see how this goes mommy Yes. Okay. Can we go and have a trick, chicken female bean? No. Can you go and play with your? Okay. Ask your grandma. I I can't. That's not my cat, honey. Oh my God! You see how she slammed the door? Just. Oh my goodness. She's four, going on twenty-five. gotta get the corners I hate putting on lipstick and it doesn't reach all the way to the corners of my mouth it makes me look like I don't know like I was drooling or something let's see okay so without mascara or anything that is what we've got going on it's okay um I'm not super disappointed only product that really disappointed me is this blush like this is a waste of time it doesn't it's not on my face at all and I put two coats of blush which is very unusual for me because the blushes I have actually like come onto my cheeks so this was horrible this is like it was pointless and the little brush just pushed my foundation and stuff around so now I have like streaks on my cheeks instead of blush so that was a fail like a full-on thumbs down for real okay so since i don't want to be incomplete with my look i'm going to put on i was going to put on eyeliner then i decided I'm not gonna put on eyeliner gonna go straight to mascara and then that is the end of this look and we'll see how pulled together I look after this if I stop dropping my products oh. <laughs> my phone is ringing oh my god okay hold on one second Ooh, sorry about that guys my phone was going off and I don't want to get in trouble for like copyright infringement or something for my ringtone so had to go and stop that all right I'm liking the eyeshadow more because like I'm putting on mascara but like I said the two purples next to each other basically look the same there's still fallout on my face from the eyeshadow but it wasn't the fallout wasn't that bad like I've had some pretty cheap eyeshadows which actually weren't from the dollar store so I guess that says a lot about the LA colors brand but yeah I've had other eyeshadows that were I guess cheap in their own regard and they have like super bad fallout so this one really wasn't that bad also, I have to keep in mind that I didn't really tap off any excess either because I was trying to pack the color on because it was so light. And my concealer, I mean my like foundation stuff is creasy. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so that's it for this look. Hope you guys liked my dollar makeup challenge. Until next time.
Ciao. The first thing I 